Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and I promised y'all a video tutorial on how to enable focus peaking. Now, if you watch the screen right here, when I use the manual focus on the camera, you'll see the yellow. See how it's on the stems now in the tree? And then now it's in the background. And if I go way to the right, there's no focus peaking because I pretty much blurred it all out. It just all became defocused. But as I bring it back in here, you'll see the uh, branches from the tree up above, the yellows around them. Now I'm continuing to turn, now I'm putting it in the background. Uh, that's referred to as focus peaking. Now why that's of, of, bit of value, if you're like me, and you're using a manual focus lens, and you can check the link within this video's description to find the camera body, the lens, the microphone, and everything. But if you're using manual focus, you know, one's eyes may not all, may not always be spot on. I mean, you can look through the electronic viewfinder, or you can look through the display on the back, but focus peaking makes it better, uh, not better, well, it does make it better. It makes it easier to know what's in focus. So like, I mean, right now, you know, the background, those trees in the background back there, beside the stream back there, they're in, they're in optimal focus. But if I bring it this way, those branches, see those branches up there? There, there, and there, they're closest to me, those are in focus. So how do you turn it on and off? Focus peaking, and how do you choose the color? It's actually quite simple. I'm demonstrating with the A7R2, but the same or similar procedure will likely work with most Sony Alpha cameras. So press menu. Uh, once I press menu, then I'm gonna go to that gear icon. So I'm gonna hit this button right here that says ISO. Oh crap. I didn't mean to hit that, the middle one. Um, keep ISO and auto. So let's do this again. Hit menu. And then after I hit menu, I'm gonna push to the right. Or actually, I'm gonna push up where it's a display and then I'm going to push to the right. Now I've got gear selected. Once I've got the gear icon selected, then I can push down. Then I can push to the right to go to section number two. Then I can push down and I can pick the peaking level. My peaking's on high. This is a matter of personal preference. You can make it uh, very pronounced with high like I do, or you can do low to where it's more subtle. The advantage to that is that when you, the disadvantage to high is that when it's on high peaking, that it's really going to take away from being able to see the actual uh, part of the camera's field of view that you're focusing upon. So to, uh, to put it on low, then you could still see the peaking, but you could also see the real environment, if that makes sense. I chose yellow, but you can choose other peaking colors, red, yellow, or white. Now in this situation, when I'm out here with the, you know, the fall leaves, I may should have chosen a different color. Maybe I shouldn't have done red or yellow. Maybe I should have done white for the sole reason that uh, yellow is a leaf color. But again, I found yellow seems to be the most optimal for me. So what I use is peaking level high, peaking color yellow. So I hope this video is a value. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all my photography and videography how-to videos on youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And check out my website, irixguy.com. You can find all my equipment, a ton of tutorials on my blog, and a whole lot more. Y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Irixguy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.